Hey guys, it's Team of Style. I'm Jose Zuniga, and for this week's video, I'm going to be showcasing to you guys the $76 suit. Now, if you guys follow my vlogs, or if you don't know, I actually I am trying to do weekly vlogs. I did a vlog last week where I was in the pursuit of a cheap suit. It took me a while, but it all arose from an email I got from a concerned viewer. I did a video where I compared a $100 suit to a $1,000 suit and I explained why you should invest more in your clothing. And not necessarily a thousand, but you know, anywhere from three, four, five hundred dollars and just invest more because quality clothing has a lot more benefits. And I'm not going to get into all of that. If you want to see more about that and understand more of the information of why I suggest that, watch that video first. But what the email basically said, it was almost as saying that with money, it's easy to be stylish. Now, this is something that I completely don't agree with. There's millionaires that look like crap. So money doesn't equal style. Style is just understanding proportions and understanding latest trends and understanding what to use according to your body shape and your skin palette. That's all what style is. If you understand all these complex ideas and put them together into a wardrobe, you are then stylish. So my goal was to show this gentleman and show you guys that you actually don't need a lot of money to look good. While I do recommend to invest more in a quality suit that's gonna last you a long time, you can be stylish for very, very little. Now this suit is actually from Zara. If you guys watched my vlog, I went to H&M, I went to Express, I went to J. Crew, I went to all these stores and it was very hard to find a very affordable suit. Trust me, it is one of the hardest things to find a really good suit that fits well under a hundred dollars and that's what's important you should never compromise on fit and proportion when trying to shop for a suit so say you find a suit for eighty dollars but it fits bad there is no point because it's not going to flatter you it's not going to make you look any better and instead it just looks like you're wearing borrowed garments so my goal was to prove that you can look good on a budget and proportionately correct as you guys already know i don't really like h&m suiting uh, their other clothing is, is it's okay but for suits I just find them way too short crop and while I was looking during the day I, w I, shot, I stopped onto Zara and I went to their sales section and I found this suit for $76 if you don't believe me here's the invoice where you see I bought both the suit and this for 76 free shipping and what I furthermore liked was the proper fit this suit has no tailoring whatsoever while the pants are a little on the baggy side and could require slight tailoring it's almost near perfection considering it is an off the rack suit. And that's what I'm trying to show you guys. Once you guys understand proportions, once you understand how things should fit you and you know colors that work with your skin palette and understand styles and trends, you can be stylish. All you have to do is apply those concepts on lower quality clothing and then just shop smart. And in regards to buying expensive clothing, yes, quality will usually cost you a little bit more than cheap mass produced garments like Zara and H&M. Of course it will. But you need to understand that with good budgeting practices, this is something that I stress a lot, and money management, you actually can afford a $500 suit. And I've explained this before on how to budget for quality menswear. I have the link above me. You guys can check this out. I actually have a free Excel sheet you can download to help you budget your daily life. You calculate your expenses and put yourself a goal. How much do you want to save? A good goal is try to save $25 a week. If you can't do that, try to save $10 a week. But let's say you can hit the $25 a week. You save $25 a week, one month you already have $100. Five months, you already have $500, which means you can buy your first well-made quality navy suit or gray suit, whatever basic you're after. Boom, now you have a suit that's gonna last you three years. Start again. Now, at the end of five months, you have $500. That means you can buy yourself probably five quality dress shirts at $100, probably custom made. Now you have those dress shirts for another five, whatever, how many years it's gonna last you. And that's the great thing. If you guys understand money management and the value of quality clothing, you guys are going to look great always. However, if you're more of the instant gratification guy and you want the things now and don't care about deterioration or don't care about the ethical practices behind most of these brands, that's completely fine too. And that's the point of this video. You can actually look well with properly tailored garments on a budget. 
I just spent $76 on this suit. So there's really no excuse. So that's basically it for this week's video, guys. This video was just to showcase to you a really cheap garment that I was able to get that fits really well, looks great in my opinion, and it's very stylish. So if you guys enjoyed this video and liked it, remember to hit up the like up button. Unfortunately, I can't link anything down below for you guys to shop because this was a sale item and I believe I took the last one, so I was actually very lucky. But the concept is there. Learn what works for you, what fits your body best, and then take that and bargain shop. Shop sales, shop outlet malls, shop you know Black Fridays, all this stuff. Go to the sale items and do a lot of searching and you will find that perfect garment at a very low price. If you guys like this video, remember to hit up the like up button. Also remember to share this video so we can reach and teach more men. Remember to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.